Welcome to the Highwire Network's Partner Portal. To log in, you'll go to highwirenetworks.amp.vg, enter in your username and password. If you don't know that your password, click on the Forgot Password button. The first time that you log in, you'll see this welcome page. On the top right, you can click on Let's Go to get started. Here you'll enter in your profile details. This will populate on a lot of the content within the portal. So if you're sending out campaigns, places like the email signature, your first and last name, and contact info will appear. Next, click on the Social tab. Here you can activate your social media accounts so you can start posting to your social media pages like Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. You can also post to your company pages through this section. Click on Next to go to your organization profile. Here you can fill in your organization details and add in your logo. That way you can have a lot of content that's co-branded and it will auto-populate with your company's contact information. Once you click on Next, this will take you to the planning section. You can add in your monthly goals. And you'll also be able to keep track of them against your real opportunities you have in the pipeline. Once you click on Next, this will take you to the last step of the initial setup to generate website tracking code. You'll be able to track all the website visitors that come to your site by generating this code and adding it to the header or footer of your website. Once you start sending out email campaigns and social posts, any click-throughs that come into your website, you'll be able to see who those points of contact are. Once you click on Finish, you'll be taken to the main dashboard. You can always access your profile by clicking on the top right where you'll see your profile icon or your profile picture if you've added that in. Here you can go to update the user profile. If you need to change things like your email address, your contact information, you can also update your password in this area. A good spot to check is turning on email notifications. This is where you can get notified about things like form completions, hot leads that come into your account after you've run some campaigns. This is also where you can go in and update your social media settings and activating your profiles and also updating things like your time zone and date settings. Now on the top right, if you click on your organization profile, this is where you can go to update that information that we just saw on the initial setup, as well as the planning section. Now on the main dashboard, you'll also see some updates on the announcements area, where the Highwire team will be updating the latest announcements. You'll also see some of these stats of what's going on in your account. In the email campaign, you'll see the most recent email that you sent, the opens and click-throughs. On the top right, if you click on Views, you can click to access more reporting. You'll see here the web leads as well. If you've added the website tracking code to your site, you'll see any known web leads that are coming into your website, what pages they're visiting. You'll also see anonymous visitors. Those anonymous visitors will show any activity of what pages they're visiting. Sometimes we're able to pull the domain information and their location. You also have access to opportunities within the portal. Here you can generate opportunities and track them as they go through the pipeline. So here I can see all of the opportunities that I have and what stages they're in. You can go in and register deals with Highwire as well. So here you'll be able to see any of the approved deals that you have access to start following up with and converting to opportunities. After you start sending out different campaigns, we also have website tracking code, lead scoring, um, social media tracking, and all of that will be accumulated onto your hot and high leads 
So for instance, I can see here I have a hot lead based on all of the website visits, email opens and click-throughs, and so forth. This contact now has a hot score of 590 points, and I can scroll down to see more of their specific activity on what pages they've landed on, what emails they've opened and clicked. This will be important in your sales process when you go to start having conversations with these leads. Plus, you'll see the engagement level listed. Um, the engagement level will show your own engagement in the portal. So if you're a very active user, you'll see that you have a high score. It will also give you some different hints in the messages on how you can continue to increase your score in the portal. On the very bottom here, there are some quick links that you can access different places within the portal. So here I can go and get trained. This will go through some different step-by-step -step instructions to help you get started within the Highwire Networks Partner Portal. So some of the things we've already gone through today, like setting up your profile and installing your website tracking code, as well as getting started with your marketing campaigns. Here you can go in and register leads as well. So here I can see I have six leads registered and two that have been approved. If I go into the registered section, I can click to create a new deal request that can be reviewed by the Highwire team. After this is approved, you'll see it in the Approved Deals section. You'll also receive an email notification when those come through. At that point, you can decide if you want to convert it into an opportunity. If you have a good conversation with a deal, you can click to convert it and start adding in the details of the opportunity here as well. We've added a lot of different resources in this section, um, and here you can access the tra some training videos that will continue to populate. Access the Overwatch website. View a lot of different marketing assets. In this section, we have all different brochures, emails, landing pages, videos, blogs, presentations, and a ton of content for you to use. So here you can generate some of these PDFs as an example with your logo. So I can either click to generate it or click to customize further. And here you'll see that it's loading with my logo from my profile and my contact information. So that's where your info will appear. You can click to download a high-res or low-res version of this. Or in the Views area, you can even click to send it out to your prospects or publish on social media. Once you've downloaded some assets, you can go to send an email. Here we've added a bunch of different emails that you can click to send. You can customize them. And most of them will appear with your logo and your contact info as well, so that's one less step that you have to worry about. So here you can go in and update things like the heading, the imagery, uh, and the content within the emails. If you create an email that you really like, you can save it as a favorite for later use. If I click Save as Favorite, I can change the name here. Then at any time, you can go into, when you see the select template area, go to My Favorites, and that's where you see the email that you can use. On the very last step, 
of composing your email, you can then go into the to line and type in the contacts you want to send it to or the list, or on the right-hand side, you can click to search for some contacts. So here I'm going to add some of my contacts in. You'll see in the list section under company lists, we've also added some pre-populated uh, list containers for you. So in here you can um, send out to all contacts you've imported, uh, maybe just your hot interest leads based on your campaign activity, people that visited your website, and so forth. Here you can adjust a subject line. You can update the from uh, user as well. So if you have more than one user that's set up in the portal and you want to send on behalf of another team member, you can. You can also update who the reply to goes to. Now I'm ready to send this. I'm going to send it now, or I can schedule it to go out at a specific date and time. I can also save this as a draft. You'll see now in this section I have all the emails that I've sent, so I can click to review any of the reporting. And this is where you'll see all the opens and click-throughs and delivery rates, and then click in the Views area for more in-depth reporting. On the left, you can also see any emails that are saved in draft mode or that are waiting to be scheduled. Now, if I go back to the dashboard, you may want to import a list of contacts you want to send that email to. You can go into the Import Contacts section and click Import. Here you can see you can import with the CSV file. Click on Go and upload your list. In this example, I have a test list that I'll use and click Next. Here we want to verify these are good opt-in contacts based on the laws in your region. And here you can also dedupe your contacts based on email address. So if the email address matches and I have this checked, it will just update that existing contact with the new data. If I don't have it checked, it just won't import that duplicate at all. Here I can also go in and uh, upload to a current list. I'm going to click on the plus sign here, and you'll see I can create a new list or add to an existing list. You can add to more than one list as well. So here you'll see now this is going to bring up um, all of my Excel spreadsheet headings to match up with the fields within the portal. So things, for example, like first and last name have already been updated. But you can see in my Excel spreadsheet, I had company name instead of company, so I just want to match up those types of fields. Once I'm done, I can click on Finish, and this will begin the import process. You'll see those lists will actually appear in your Connections and List section, and you can access any of your contacts and lists and import and exports from the Connections area here. Some other options you have from the dashboard are webinar videos, click to manage some of your contacts, and also to publish social media campaigns. In the publish social media campaign section, you'll see you can access existing campaigns that the Highwire Networks team has provided and set and run them to your own uh, social media accounts. There's also a blog campaign that you can publish to your WordPress or Blogger account. Any of these you can click to set up. Click on Next. And here you can activate any other social media accounts if you haven't done so already. And then if you do have a company page that you're an admin of, you can select it from the dropdown. Once I click on Next, this is going to show me the social posts I have to publish. You can click on them to see a preview of what they'll look like. In the very last step, you have access to the social director if you have more than one user in your account, and you can publish campaigns on behalf of other users. 
So if they have this green light bulb, that means that they have activated their account and you can send on behalf of them. Once you're ready to send your campaign, click on this play button or you can click to schedule on a specific date and time. You also have access here to a lot of different videos, and on the very bottom, access to all different areas of Highwire Network support, sales media support, and where you can visit them. Just so you're aware, all of these quick links also have top navigation items. So if you can want to explore these areas, look on the very top under these sections here. If you need additional help, you can click to contact Highwire Support, or you can click on the Assist Me on the very bottom. And you'll see here under More Help, you can search for how to do any of these items within the portal, like how to register an opportunity or how to send an email. This will take you through a tutorial on how you can get started. Thanks, and we're excited for you to be using the Highwire Network's Partner Portal.